and introducing a remarkable innovation that is both hardware and software and something in between. The Dynamic Island. Is this feature technically invented by LG seven years ago with the top screen on the LG V10? Yes, absolutely. The real kicker here is the secondary screen at the top, and if you add this in, this actually makes the screen close to six inches in size. The secondary screen works as a hub for notifications, app shortcuts, recently opened applications, media controls, quick contacts, upcoming events in your calendar, and will show you basic information like time and date when the main display is turned off. In a lot of ways, it's quite similar to what Samsung has done with their Edge display. All of these various components can be adjusted and modified in the settings, and for some personalization, you can have your name or a short message to be displayed when the main display is on or off. Thank you, Jesus. Or Steve Jobs, whoever, whoever did it. Looks like how they made such an ugly hardware oversight into something useful and not just useful it's it's also kind of cute i mean look at it it's like a it's like a little buddy how adorable gone are the days of apple purposely trying to hide the notch in their own renders this time they're proud of the hole and they want you to look right at it like look look at me this is my hole and you can touch it! Seriously, you can touch it. The fact that they've made this something that adapts and something that you can interact with is the highlight. It is one of the most unique features of this phone, even though it might not immediately be noticeable when you're looking at it, is up front up here on the top. It's the second display. It's up at the top right corner, up in the bezel. It's a little easier to see on the white version since it's hidden up there in the bezel, but it's a 160 by 1040 second screen on top of the primary Quad HD display, and it has its own functions. First of all, it's always on. Even when the main display is off, it's showing your date, time, and battery. And while it's off, you can swipe over to get some quick shortcuts, which are handy. And then the main display, when that's on, you can show a bunch of stuff on the secondary. You get notifications when you get new ones, you also have app shortcuts of your choice. You can have your five most recent apps. You can get media controls and even a custom signature message. Some of this stuff is gimmicky and some of it is actually kind of useful. I think it's most useful when showing new notifications since it's actually saving real space on the main display. But it can kind of be a bit of a struggle on such a big phone to reach up at the top with one hand to say tap an app shortcut. I think most people will just multitask the normal way. But it is interesting, nevertheless, and implemented pretty well. All right. And introducing a remarkable innovation that is both hardware and software, and something in between. The Dynamic Island. An interactive place that bubbles up alerts, notifications, and activities, fluidly transforming itself as needed. It's an entirely new way to experience iPhone.